¿Qué pasó? It's Jesse Borrego right here with Alan Hernandez, incredible artist. And we're here with G Snap Films Productions. Those are our homies. To come back and do a Chicano film once again, play a Chicano character and say something about who they are. And otra vez the camara, hey, call up the camara otra vez to come. <laughs> so once again, the blood in, blood out effect where our arte and who we are affects the people around us and how they actually think of their ideas, man. Uh, once again, look at this, dude. Two little vatos from San Antonio, Texas with our influence of what we grew up with. You're from Robstown, from a Pisca type of background. I come from, you know, Chicanos in the South Side, you know, the Troubles. And, and then the media, right? perpetuates that idea oh, yeah. of look at these mm -hmm. these horrible ugly people and then all of a sudden you start to have develop como dice Luis Rodriguez from Always Ready he goes uh, you develop the uh, the uh, what does he call it the self-hatred mentality mm -hmm. he goes so now these little vatos want to do violence on a vato right across the street wearing different colors that looks exactly like him <laughs> why because he hates himself man he hates you know what I mean? Why else, if you were so proud of colores y todo, you see a vato that looks just like you, but wearing a different color, would you do violence on him? And that's why I threw in that line, bro, in Blood In, Blood Out. You remember that scene? Yeah. Where I go, hey, why do you guys always want to fight other raza? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they go, ah, tu no bailes, again. who are you? And then Miklo goes, I'll do it, you know what I mean? When I did that line, because acuérdate, I was in my zone at that time. When I did that movie, I said, what do I want to say? I know what they're going to say. I see it in the script. But what do I want to say? So when Taylor asked me to do it, you know, Taylor didn't audition me. He came to me and he goes, dude, I want you to be in this movie. And I said, all right. Now when I want to do the artist, and I went, okay, what do I want to say? And I said, okay, I got to say this. This isn't in it. I got to say this. And I, gotta, and I said, I got to say that every chavalonito that clicks, that's down with his barrio, that likes to wear colors, that throws barrio, is not doing it because he's a violent criminal. They want to feel like they belong to somebody. They're down with the homies. They're young. They like to dress like the youth culture locally. A lot of them don't have anybody to love at home. They come from dysfunctional families, so they feel close. So I said to myself, how do I put this in this movie? I can't put this in too intellectual. And these vatos will never let me put that in the mouth of this character, so how am I going to do it? I said, you know what? It can only happen one time, right there. It only happened right there, and it's only got to be a little moment because then it ain't going to ring true. Porque yo estoy tirando barrio también. Mi crucito era el barrio tirando teto. So I said, okay, this is how I'm going to do it. And this is my art. This is how I do my art. I went, okay, I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to say this. I'll see if I can slip it in there. Practiced it as we were rehearsing. I was practicing it, right? Boom, we started doing it. We're nailing it. So I think at that point, Taylor was like, all right, do it. But then the next day, they talked about it, and they brought me in. And they were like, look, man. We're afraid that people aren't going to believe that you belong to a gang, if you say that. And I went, I said, yeah, bro, but then you're telling me that every kid that's in a gang walks around, matón de amaire, quiere matar a todos. I said, that ain't true, Taylor. I go, especially at this level, when they're kids, there's all over, man. There's El Flaco, there's El Gordo, there's, you know, Spooky. There's like, you, you can't tell me that they're all violent, wanting to do... Dirt, bro, they're homies, man. They're down for the barrio. They click in, you know. It ain't like that. I go, do it like this. I go, trust me. If you do that and then bullshit comes out of this, you will see that later on, people are going to go, man, it's a shame what happens to these kids when they get into the life. I go, trust me. Not only that, a kid is going to understand and He's going to go, wow, that happened to my brother. That happened to my cousin. Or I better watch it. You know, you hope. Right? That's what you hope when you do art, that somebody's going to take something out of what you're trying to say. I go, and it's only one line. I go, believe me, if I don't say this, then you're going to have an entire movie. Because once you go to prison, remember, you got a bunch of actors that are pretending to be gangsters. They're scared. So they're going to act tough 24-7. Right? They ain't going to let nothing slip. I go, not only that, you got prisoners. They're not going to, they're real prisoners. You're going to use them as extras. They're not going to pretend, dude. You also got gangsters that are playing other little gangsters. They're not going to pretend like they're punks. So you're going to have a whole movie of people like this. No softness, no... I said, dude, 
no one's going to get it. No one's going to get the Vatos Locos and what a tragedy really happened. I go, at the end of it, Ben's going to be hardcore. He's got to be. He's so totally, he's still the same as Miklo. Miklo has become the head, dude. He's not going to be soft. I go, so you're going to have all these people and nobody. And what I say is not going to make sense. All that, you, all that you want me to say at the end, how it's about raza and familia, and I'm going to mean crap because the whole movie we were walking around, yeah, mata esos vatos, mata eso, vatos, sabes que, tu, y tu, culera, y la chingada. I said, trust me on this one, bro. Trust my artistry on this one. They went, you know what? You're absolutely right. And it was one little line. One little line that I stuck in there. But it was so important, again, to the artistry of, of, of what we want to say to these chavalones and how we want to draw them in. And I think that that's why it became a cult hit because these kids saw those images and they resonated with them. And they heard those words and they saw those characters and what we were trying to say. And they recognized that and they took it all the way to its logical conclusion. So even though the, the film is kind of grueso and kind of heavy at the end, now that speech that I give at the end, now they understand it. Especially with the mural in the back mm -hmm. with all of us having fun and todo. And now they're like, man, you should have seen when we, had Cine, uh, we were at Cine Festival and we brought La Mision there, but we, were, we had the mural. And we put the mural up on stage at the main, uh, they, they had like a fundraiser banquet. And man, people were like, uh-uh, how did they get the mural over here? And it's all beat up right now. We got to restore it and they still were freaking out on it, man. But that just goes to show you that they understood the connection between what we're trying to express and who they really are. Yo, 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 it's Jesse Borrego, aquí con Adán Hernández and G-Snap Films Productions, one time.